Hello everyone, how is it going? This is the Video Gamer 64 and Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 here. <coughs> How's it going guys? Today is March 1st of 2019. I hope all of you had a good February and I know today is Friday and I know all of you are excited for Friday because today's Friday. Everybody's going to be excited for Friday. <laughs> Especially me of course. But the only thing I... Uh, I dread about this Friday is because uh, Mardi Gras holidays starting, and I don't mind the holiday starting for us down here, but uh, the problem is I won't be able to make as much videos as I did, did this week. But anyways, guys, I hope all of you are having a nice and wonderful Friday today, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing my Atari 20 not 2600 I'm gonna be showing my Atari controller collection yes I got the Atari 2600 controller I got the Atari 7800 controller and Atari 5200 controller the only controller I'm missing is the Jaguar and I will be giving my opinion on each of these controllers and uh, I don't own the Atari 5200 7800 or the Jaguar obviously but uh, I will be showing the 5200 and 7800 controller, and I will explain why I don't uh, own the systems yet. But I had them before. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to be showing, like, reading the results to y'all first, and then I'll uh, be doing the Atari 2600 uh, videos. I mean, the Atari controller video. Well, anyways, guys, let's uh, get started with the results. Uh, which game is winning between Deven Defender, Atlantis, Donkey Kong, or Berserk? So far, it's Donkey Kong. And, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six people have voted for Donkey Kong, and nobody else has voted for any of the other games but Donkey Kong. So, so far, it looks like I'm going to be reviewing Donkey Kong on the Atari 2600. And I think that's awesome game, and I really love the game and stuff. Anyway, I'll be reading the people's names that voted on the game. And uh, the per first person I got on here that voted is Mason on on another site, YouTube. My friend AJ on YouTube. All of these are my good friends. Uh, Shadowbones14 on YouTube voted. Uh, OzzyGuy100 on Vidly voted. Shout out to you. Shout out to all of y'all, really, for voting and and. All my friends, I appreciate it. And uh, Epsilaso, I think that's how you pronounce out his name. Dude, if I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize. But he voted on Vidly, and I got one Twitter vote. I do not know who voted on Twitter. But, uh, yeah, all of you voted for Donkey Kong so far. But remember, guys, it's not too late to vote on uh, which game I should review uh, first on the Atari 2600 in 2019. I got the Twitter votes uh, that will end in three days, but <coughs> but the actual thing won't end until I come back. So it's not too late, guys, to vote. You can either vote, vote in my previous video that I've done with Donkey Kong Defender, Berserk, and Atlantis, or uh, you can vote in this video on what game should I review on the Atari 2600. Well, anyways, guys... Uh, I will let y'all know when I come back on Mardi Gras break video, and uh, so about the results, I'll let all of you know the final results, and I'll go through all of your names again uh, that voted, and like I said, all of your vote votes count. Well, anyways, guys, let's get started with the Atari controllers collection that I have. First one I pull out is the game controller I review the Atari 2600. I mean I do videos on and play games on it the most. It's called Slick Stick. I believe this is a, well it is the controller for the Atari 2600 but I believe this is third party controller. I might be wrong but this controller uh, I haven't had no problems with it at all. You got your fire button right here. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> you got your fire button right here and then you got your uh, up down, left, right, and then you got other directions, like it shows all the directions you can move the joystick to, and I think it's very cool, and I and I, I really love this controller, if any of you 
find this controller at a garage sale, yard sale, flea market, or any other place or a retail store, I highly recommend getting this controller for your Atari 2600. For a third party controller, I was amazed and I think this is truly worth your money. Now we got another controller for the Atari 2600. Let me get all these cords untangled. This is the original and real deal right here. The Atari 2600 controller. I am a big fan of this controller. I haven't used it much because I used it a little bit and it seemed like I used the other Atari 2600 controller before that was just like this and uh, that I had a long time ago when my Atari until my Atari 2600 tore up my other Atari that I had and uh, this was a great controller and uh, when I bought this a second in Charles with uh, another controller in my Atari 2600 system I noticed I had a little problems with it like part of it looks like it wants to like right here if I could show it on camera you can see it like this let me zoom in a little bit I gotta get used to this computer guys I'm sorry but uh oh man y'all can't see that well well anyway it has like a big hole or something in it so I don't know if that's normal or not but I ain't taking no chances on breaking it because it's an iconic controller and uh so I decided I'm gonna uh leave it like that you know and just play with the other Atari 2600 controller next we have it's known as one of the worst controllers of all time in video game history and uh, it's not the third party controller it's the original controller for the Atari 5200 and here it is yeah it kinda looks like a telephone don't it one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and then you got the pound button and all of these like a regular telephone and then right here you got your start button then you got your pause button right here and then you got your reset button and on the side you could usually in Atari 5200 games you could fire uh, your weapon with this or this side and uh, the controller is like this you can move it it's not as stiff it's not stiff like the Atari 2600 controllers usually are in some ways but this is more loose than the Atari 2600 and uh I'll say about like what like what happened to my Atari 5200 7800 at the end of this video. Anyway, next we have Atari 7800 controller, I believe. I think it is, yeah. And uh, I love, I even though I love this controller, even though I haven't played the 7800, I uh, had some games for it, but the system, I'll say it at the end. But anyway, for steering games, you got this. And you can move it up, down, left, right. See, y'all can hear that clickety sound. And then you got the fire buttons right here. And if you notice, you don't see the telephone uh, numbers. <laughs> I just call them telephone numbers. But y'all can notice the telephone numbers ain't here. And, uh, yeah. That's because they repl Atari replaced this like the phone keys and everything on the Atari 7800 controller I mean Atari 7800 controller I don't know if I said it wrong or not so I just had to re-say it again and uh yeah uh now the reason why what happened with my Atari 5200 and my Atari 7800 uh was that my friend my mom's friend actually was uh to give me the Atari 5200 and Atari 7800 for free. I was so excited because I'm a big fan of Atari. I love Atari, Nintendo, and other companies. Well, anyway, um, anyway, it was, uh, we tested it out on my, uh, CRTV, the box television known as that. And, uh, anyway, <coughs> the, uh, controller, I mean the console, wouldn't work. Either one of them. I don't know if we had it in the wrong plug-in place at the time. Because back then I was like 13 or 14. I, I knew I knew a little. I was just starting to get into other consoles and stuff. I was always more of a PlayStation. Well, I've always been an Atari person. But I've always been more of a PlayStation and Nintendo person as a kid growing up. And, uh, yeah. 
Well, anyways, uh, I didn't know much about the Atari 5200 or 7800 at the time. And uh, so what happened was we couldn't get it to work, either one of them, the 5200 or 7800 console. We couldn't get none of them to work. So uh, so she had to wind up taking them back and uh, try to get them fixed. I don't know if she ever fixed them or not, but uh, yeah. That's how it all happened. I haven't got the 5200 or 7800 bag, but that's okay. I could try to find it again, but I know it ain't going to be for free because they're kind of up in value. But, uh, yeah, I think that even though I never played the 5200, I know the controllers are bad, like the one I showed you all earlier with the telephone keypads and stuff. Well, anyways, I uh, I believe the third-party controller could make the game in experience for the 5200 a little easier and stuff like that but the 7800 the controller is fine like from the gameplay and stuff I've seen of it it looks flawless the controller is flawless compared to the 5200 and uh, yeah but the Atari 2600 is still my favorite Atari console of all time unless I start playing the 7800 and getting it I'll really fall in love with it more <laughs> but anyways guys I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video and I gave all of you the results on which game is winning between Donkey Kong Atlantis Berserk and Defender and obviously Donkey Kong is winning but remember guys it's not too late to vote even though the Twitter vote ends in three days it will uh the results will come and end actually when I come back well, anyways, guys, I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope all of you guys enjoyed my previous videos. Feel free to subscribe to me on my The Video Gamer 64 channel and my second main channel named Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 to see more videos on there. And this is The Video Gamer 64 and Mr. Arcade Retro Gamer 64 signing off.